This is a presentation of Alleluia Ministries International. It is important for us to begin to understand what the Church of God is all about. The Church of God is not an organization. The Church of God is a living entity. It is not just a structure. It is an organism. The Church of God is not a social gathering of men and women who believe the same. It is a spiritual place where spirit meets. Spirit in bodies meet. It is a place where those who have been redeemed through the blood of Jesus Christ have a platform to fellowship with him. I am here referring to the local church. It is a place where the spirit and the earth comes together. Divinity and humanity comes together. Therefore, as we come to the church of God, as we walk into the house of God, it is imperative for us to expect something spiritual to happen. Where the spiritual manifestation of God is visible, the church is healthy. Where the church is not healthy, the church is sick, the church is faulty, there is no manifestation of the spirit. Family, this is well recorded and documented in the volume of the scriptures. The house of God is a supernatural place. It's a place where we communicate and have fellowship with a God we don't see. We are not men and women who have lost their mind when we come and begin to speak to a being that we do not see. The reason why we do it is simply because we understand that beyond what our eyes see, here there are beings, creatures, angels who are here. And beyond all of them, we also know that our God is here. He said, wherever two or more have gathered in my name, there I am. Therefore, you have to open your heart and expect something that goes beyond the intellect of man. If you do not expect such, I want you to understand something is wrong. You are not in the church of God. You are in a gathering of good people. But I hear we are in a gathering that is bigger than just a gathering of good people. We are in the house of God to meet the king of glory, to meet the creator of heaven and earth. Amen. This I say in preparation of what God has for you. I perceive in God that the day God will reach you and he will bless you in a supernatural manner. I Who am I talking to? I receive. I said God will reach you and bless you in a supernatural manner. Lift your hand and say, Lord. Lord. I am ready. I am ready. For the supernatural for the supernatural. Say, so Lord. Lord. I am ready. I am ready. For something unusual. For something unusual. To happen to me today. To happen to me today. Now the text that we just read is a very interesting text. It is the story of uh, one who was found faithful to carry double of the spirit that his spiritual father, Elijah, had carried. I am here speaking about Elisha. The Bible says, after his spiritual father had departed to be with the Lord, his mentor fell on him. May something big fall on you today. I receive. I say, may something big fall on you today. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So he carried double of the spirit and the unction that was on his spiritual father. He was therefore established to do two times more than what his spiritual father did. That is called progress. That is called prosperity. That is called moving forward. May you go forward. I receive it. May you progress in everything you do. I receive. Now in this story the Bible says that uh, sons of the prophets gathered around him and they have approached him to say see the place where we dwell is now small. Allow us to go to the Jordan and cut beams so we may enlarge our space. 
I sense in the Holy Ghost that God wants you to enlarge your space. I will say. If you had one wardrobe, get ready for the second one. If you had one car, it. get ready for the second one. I will say. God is about to extend you. I will say. Uh, expansion and anointing is about to come on somebody, somebody today. Now, please, I have a seat. It is said that uh, the sons of the prophet came to him and said, See, the place where we dwell is now small. Before this season is over, you will look around and say, The place where I am is now small. Am I? Are you ready for your next building? Oh, yes, we are. Uh, they came to him and said, Please, see for yourself. This place that used to fit us yesterday cannot fit us today. The budget that was uh, enough for us yesterday is not enough for us now. I will uh, somebody get ready. God is about to shock the world through you. I will say. Uh, hear me, I am speaking as an authorized man of God. These words will come to pass. The yes. devil, like it or not, you are about to mount up wings like an eagle. I you are about to get where nobody in your family ever got. In the name of Jesus. Something bigger than big is about to happen to you. I May I prophesy your testimony? <laughs> May I prophesy your testimony? Yes, man of God. You are about to dance in the presence of God and say, look what the Lord has done. Amen. A testimony is about to come to you. I will see. No, 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 please have a seat. It is says that they came and they say, see for yourself, the place where we are is now small. I read this in the word. Mm. I found it in the book of Malachi. Jesus. The Bible say in response to man's obedience in the finance, in giving God what it's due to him, paying the tithe, the Bible say, he will bless you and for you, he will open the windows of heaven and bless you with such a blessing that there will be no room enough to contain it. Hear me. There are levels and levels. Many people are blessed, but there are levels of blessing. The Bible says such a blessing that there will be no room enough to contain it. Are you getting ready for what is coming your way? I there is such a blessing that is coming. Somebody receive. There is such a blessing mm. Mm. that is making its way to you. I receive. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Now you have to sit so we can go through this quietly and nicely. The Bible speaks of Elisha who was a spiritual son of Elijah, you have to have a track record. Mm -hmm. We gotta know where you're from. Right. Whose son are you? Whose daughter are you? Right. right. His father was Elijah. And the Bible says that he carried double of his anointing because he was found faithful. Not because he desired it. It's simply because he paid the price for it. You cannot get the prize unless you pay the price. He paid the price for the prize. Oftentimes people look at you and they want to be you without paying the price. You pay to become the you they see. That's there right. is always a price. When you go to somebody's house and you see on the wall there is a small certificate or a little diploma attached to the wall, you may want to have it, but... To get it, it will cost sometimes four years. <laughs> four years of going and sitting in that class. Four years of writing text. There is a prize. This man paid the prize and the Bible say he carried that anointing. What is very interesting here, the Bible say, not one, not two, not three, sons of the prophet gathered around him and say the place where we dwell is now small. He had some people will say a little church, but a Bible scholar believes that a prophet will carry schools of prophets. And when you hear sons of prophets are not biological sons of certain prophets, 
Sons of prophets are men and women who had aspired to the prophetic. They desired the prophetic. They felt drawn in the prophetic. Their calling was to stand in the prophetic. And they will gather around the prophet to learn. This speaks of education. Revelation does not move you away from education. Today, the charismatic movement must understand, again, the power of education. It does not remove the anointing. In fact, those who are anointed will be drawn to knowledge. Family, what you know will always empower you. That's right. What you do not know will destroy you. Right. Many lives today are wasted because of ignorance. Isn't it that the Bible says, my people, not the world, my people perish. You see, even God's people perish. Even those who are called by his name perish. He said, my people perish simply because of lack of knowledge. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You can learn the prophetic. You can understand the prophetic. Once you are called for it, don't jump into it until you are trained for it. After you are called for it, you still need to be trained into it. If you just say, I got a revelation, God called me into the prophetic, and you jump into it, what God has placed in you will kill you because you are not yet ready for it. Right. Uh, don't die with your blessing in your hand. Amen. So he had, sons of the prophet, he had devoted his life in teaching. In sharing from what God has bestowed in his spirit. This is what I do everywhere I go. I say to the Lord, I will go far north, far south. I will go to the east and the west. I will share the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. I will tell this dying world that Jesus Christ has not grown weak. Our God has not retired he healed yesterday, he heals today. Amen. He healed yesterday, he can do it today. Amen. If he did it then, he can do it now. Wow. I go through the church and shock even those with uh, white collars. They suddenly begin to see their God differently. That's what Elisha did. He poured himself to a younger generation. He told them about the God who's able to see, the God who's able to hear, the God is able to speak, the God who's able to touch. Our God is not made of stone. Right. Do they say, My God is strong? My God is strong. Say, My God is strong. My God is strong. Uh, we do not relate to him as a weak God. Uh, we will let you die. No. We relate to him as the resurrection and life. We relate to him as the great I am of Israel. We relate to him as El Gibor, the Lord God of war. We relate to him as Jehovah Rapha. He is the great physician. What doctors cannot do, he can do. We relate to him as the Arab and the omega the beginning and the end hey there is none like him he alone is God Amen. have a seat if you can and the Bible says that the sons of the prophet who gathered around him to draw from the well that he carried in his bosom came to him and said we have grown what used to fit us cannot fit us anymore. What used to be called enough is not enough anymore. One million rain five years ago may still carry the same amount of zeros. But because of the inflation, the one million rain that you had five years ago is no longer the one million rain of today. If you do not update your revelation, you will be outdated. True. Very true. Somebody say forward. Forward. Mm -hmm. Say forward. Forward. 
They say what used to fit us is not fitting us anymore. Please allow us to go to the Jordan and cut for beams every man bringing one. Because you see, the expansion in the kingdom of God does not come only from the one breastfeeding. It comes from those who are being breastfed. If it was himself, you say, my place is small, let me go and begin to cut timbers. I tell you, it could have taken years for any change to happen. But it was those who gathered around him who understood the responsibility. And they say, we need your blessing. For this is what we have endeavored. Where we are, we have no carpet. Where we are, we have no nice chairs. Where we are, we have no microphone. We can hear you properly. Where we are, it's too hot. We need air con. Where we are, we have no transport to bring brothers and sisters in the house. Give us your blessing that every one of us may go to the Jordan, to the field, and cut his timber and bring his timber for the expansion of the kingdom of God. Amen. There is a part that I have to do. You have a part in the expansion of the kingdom of God. Amen. The difficulty is when you have sons of the prophets who gather around you every day in and out to draw and do not understand that uh, where we are is now small and I have a place and I have a role to play. You must understand all of us have a role to play That's in the expansion right. of the kingdom of God. Amen. You should not be a taker only. You should be a giver also. You should not be a taker only. You should be a giver also. It's called the law of reciprocity. Where you have a right, you must know you also have duties. So you must begin to say, my right is to be blessed. My right is to receive a word. My right is to be prayed for. But what are my duties? Mm. Am I speaking? That's right. Pastor. Are you listening? We are listening. Now they gather together and they say, allow us to do so. He say, go. Mm. But one of them came and said, please consent that we go with you. Meaning come along. I don't want to be too far from my prophet. I don't want to be too far from my prophet. Whatever comes between me and the source of the prophetic in my life, may God uproot it. In the name of Jesus. I don't want to be too far from my prophet. If you will stay, I stay. If you go, I go. Now, I'm trying to show you something very key in the prophetic. When Jesus Christ called his 12, he called them to be with him. Because the greatest part of impartation in the prophetic comes through close proximity. When Elijah said to Elisha, stay here as God is calling me somewhere else. Elisha said to him, as long as the Lord your God liveth. Where you are, I'll be. Where you go, I will go. Look at somebody say, don't be far from your prophet. Don't be far from your prophet. If uh, you are physically far, carry his photo, mark of authority. Mention his name in prayer. Try whatever you can to be in his proximity. It's a concert with us that we may, you may come along and come with us. He said, I will come. And you'll see why it was a nice and a well thought through move. So they went and he was with them. There is no area in the world that suggests that he was also cutting timbers. Because you see, his role was not in the timber. His role is a spiritual one. And if your prophet does a spiritual role in your life, that's all you need from him. That's right. You don't need him to do any other thing. Amen. That's all you need from him. 
that the greatest blessing you can pray for me, speak a word for me, watch over my soul, give me the word, direct me, guide me, correct me, that all the rest I will handle it. So as it was, they began to cut timbers and the Bible said tragedy hit. One of them, while cutting timbers, his ex-head fell in the water. His ex-head fell in the water. And the Bible say, he screamed and said, alas, my master, it was borrowed. When you hear him speak, you can see that the men say it is over. My situation will kill me. It was borrowed. It is in the past now. <laughs> Cutting timbers. The ex head fell. What he had left was a stick. Without the ex head, there will be no result. You can be beating the tree with a stick, nothing will happen. What had to make a difference in his work was the ex head and he lost it. There are many people who are still beating the tree, but they lost the ex head. There are many who stand here. They are still doing everything that they used to do. They still preach, they still shout, they still walk. But let me tell you, without the ex head, there will be no result. But today, Amen. I am bringing back the ex head. I receive it. Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. The ex head fell somewhere. When the man of God came, he asked, where did it fall? Asking in the prophetic does not mean a lack of revelation. He understood in the prophetic that you fix things from the beginning by pointing where the matter Began. Family, it is very important for our generation to begin to ask ourselves, where did we go wrong? When a marriage is breaking down, before you begin to point fingers at each other, it is important to think and say, where did we go wrong? If you don't fix it there, you will keep on going through the same thing. That's right. Family, there are people who are champions of wrong decisions. 100%. You joined that church. Nobody knew you. The only speaking in tongue you were speaking was kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Now you join. You have been taught the word. Given a platform in that church to minister. You ministered once. Someone was seized by the power of God. You say, I'm leaving. I'm starting my church. Champion of wrong decisions. Yes. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukau on all social media platforms at Alf Lukau.